there's a lot of people that talk bad about some traditional martial arts and them practicing certain forms and them calling it like organized dancing routines my thoughts on it I understand their point of view but there's another point of view that I want to express and that is that dancing in martial arts it's very similar Martial arts to me is, is pretty much like dancing. Dancing is just all peaceful. None of it is really, the moves or none of it is geared towards hurting anybody. Martial arts, on the other hand, has techniques designed to hurt, to protect. Okay, so you have some of these traditional martial arts which have more strict movements and more rigid. And when done, done in coordination, it can look like choreographed dance, but in a martial arts way. Now, do you have the same thing with dancing? You have something like ballroom dancing, which is strict, rigid movements where you work with your partner and you dance together but it's it's routine same moves over and over again and it's ingrained into your memory to be memorized and that's kinda how some of the forms are for traditional martial arts now you have something not traditional martial arts something more modern something more sport like boxing, kickboxing, and wrestling, for example. Alright, you see these, all this is, is broken rhythm. There's still rhythm, but it's broken rhythm, it's, and then it's spontaneous, so it's not rigid anymore. And it's not routine and memorized, but it's broken rhythm, spontaneous expression. Now you have this in dance as well something such as break dancing or hip hop dancing it's not anything that's memorized it's just expression now even ballet dancing you know it's just expression spontaneous and it's still dance and same thing with the martial arts with something like the, the more modern boxing it's it's just another way of expression and <clears throat> you work with your opponent now in dancing you work with your dancing partner in martial arts you work with your sparring partner the person could get a feel of the way that you fight the way that you spar and from that feeling if you guys spar enough, you guys work together and you pretty much could read each other and what you guys are doing. And if you do it in a non-competitive, non-egoistic way, it pretty much ends up becoming like a dance. But just with combat techniques. You guys are throwing techniques, you know, performing techniques and moves on each other but you guys read each other so well that you respond and pretty much no injuries occur because you already could read the person that you're fighting against or you're sparring against now if you put two people that never sparred against each other and you have them enter a fight with each other then they, they, they don't really have, they didn't have the opportunity to read each other and they didn't get a feeling of each other so then when they start to perform techniques and try to strike one another then there's gonna be a lot of mishaps and there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be um, people getting hit people getting hurt because they didn't work with each other. Same thing with dancing. You put two ballroom dancers or salsa dancers that never dance with each other. They're going to 
miss on some steps, they're not going to be able to work with each other in fluidity because they never really danced together before. They didn't get a feel for each other. Once they get a feel for each other and they keep dancing, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very smooth and fluid. Same thing with the fighting. If you keep fighting with the same person over and over again, you're going to get a feeling of the way that he fights and you're going to be able to work with them. And when he throws strikes and attacks, you won't get injured because you're going to know how to get out the way. You're going to know how to move. Now, you can't say that break dancing and ballet dancing is better than salsa dancing or ballroom dancing. They're just a different way of dancing. It just depends on how you wish to express yourself. And none is eat better than the other. It's just a form of expression. It's just a different way. One might be more spontaneous with no memorization and another one has memorization and routine. But they're just dancing and it's just a different way of expression. And with the martial arts, it's the same thing. Traditional martial arts and then something more modern like boxing, they're just different ways of fighting. There's, there's no one that's better than the other. There's just a, a way of expression. One might be more rigid, following more routine, and then there's something else that's more spontaneous. But neither is better than the other. It's just a way of expression. And through learning about these different arts and training in different arts, you could learn to discover what you feel best and at home with. And then you could make that a part of you. Like something like capoeira, for example. It's something where it is dance with hidden martial arts techniques. I don't know too much about the history, but from my understanding, they had to hide the martial art techniques in a form of dance in order to keep it um, so then it's not suppressed. Okay, and dance and martial arts is very similar. If you get, if you're a good dancer, you could very easily become a very good martial artist. If you're a good martial artist, you can learn dancing more efficiently because you understand the martial arts. So people who say, you know, this just you know, certain forms is just like organized dancing. Well, the fact of the matter is all types of martial arts is pretty much a form of dancing. Boxing is a form of dancing. If you if you work at boxing and you work with your the person that you're that you're boxing with, it ends up becoming you, you keep working with the person that you're fighting with. It ends up not even becoming a fight anymore. It ends up becoming like a dance. You, you're dancing with your partner. He's throwing strikes. You're getting away. And you're throwing strikes and he's getting away. It's just like a, a, a way of working with each other. Because when you work with somebody long enough, you'll be able to read them. And then it becomes more artful. It's it's if if you put somebody against you know fighting against somebody that they never fought against, then it's harder to read and it's harder to flow. So there will be people that get hit and of that nature, but that doesn't mean really that um, necessarily mean that anybody's better than somebody else. It's just a matter of getting a feel of your opponent or getting the feel of the person that you're training with. Anybody could um, strike somebody suddenly and hurt them. Everybody has to sleep. So you could wait till the, the greatest competition fighter falls asleep and then somebody could smash him in the head with a hammer. That's a sudden attack. Nobody can really prevent sudden attacks like that.